Stop recording video. Button. Selfie zoom. Zoomed in. Button. Selfie zoom. Zoomed in. Selfie zoom. Zoomed in. Speech off. Hi guys, this is VI Life with Kelly, and I am doing my Chanel Cosmetics review. I had said like over a week ago that I wanted to use the products for a week and then give you guys my true feedback on what I think. I actually started filming this video a few minutes ago just to find out. I was talking to myself. So anyhow, um, let's get into it. If you're interested in my feedback on the Chanel Cream Eyeshadow Sticks as well as the cleansing oil and eye makeup remover, then keep watching. So I've already wiped my face with my um, Kroger Refreshing makeup remover cleansing cloths i talked about these in my skincare routine and collection video so if you definitely want more information about that then head on over to my youtube channel and look through i think i have like 65 videos now but it was definitely last week when i did that video so definitely check that one out and so i already washed wiped my entire face with this cleansing cloth to start off fresh then the next thing I did was go on and put my Fenty Glow Gloss Balm on my lips. I started out with the fresh face, guys, but anyway. Um, so then I put the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm on and I just put a good amount in the center of my lips and then I just blend it in. I learned that from LV Lover CC. She showed us how you can spread the lipstick quicker if you just Put a little a good amount in the middle of your lips and then just blend your lips together so that was super cool and then i just came back through with this milani um double espresso i think it's number 38 i'm not sure i got this a long time ago and i got this out of walgreens on peachtree road here in buckhead um so i think i got it from there i know i got it from walgreens for sure um, and so I love this per lipstick because it smells good. It smells like Jolly Rancher or something like that to me, but the color is super pretty and rich. And so I just blended a little bit of that in after I put the balm, glow gloss balm on. So that's my lips. Um, then from there, I, um, cause this is going to be a get a chit chat, get ready with me video. So I'm doing that really quickly. And then from there, I used my um, Chanel, where is it? Oh, here it is. I used my Chanel eyebrow pencil with the brush on the end to brush my eyebrows. And I just lightly, um, this is the Noir Sandra shade. I think it's number 60. I bought this a long time ago. They could have changed the number or the color. Um, but here it is, is the Noir Sandra. And all I did was just literally, I didn't even, don't even think about filling. I did not fill it in. I just lightly colored or wanded like literally for one second on each eyebrow. And then I just brushed it in on each eyebrow. So that was the end of that. And then um, now guys, let me see. I'm taking some gum. I don't know. I want some gum. So. I'm having some gum really quickly. It's the Orbitz Peppermint, if you are interested. So, I was trying to, when I thought I was filming earlier, show you guys the difference in size of the Bobbi Brown. Um, Yeah, of the Bobbi Brown Cream Eyeshadow Sticks versus the Chanel. The Bobbi Brown is like twice the size of this. And it might be like $2 more. I want to say the Bobbi Brown Cream Eyeshadow Stick is like $36. Whereas this is $34. Um, and this is the... I got the Chanel number 4, which is Electric Brown. And I got the number 6, which is the Nude. I think it's Nude Beach or something like that. But for sure it's Nude. Um, number 6. So, you know, here's the packaging and everything like that and I don't know if you can see the bottom like if there's words on the ends but basically what I'm going to do I'm going to take this eyeshadow stick and we're just going to talk about it so on my first get ready with me when I showed you guys how I do my makeup with visual impairment and I thought that I was putting 
this nude color all over my eyelid when in fact I was putting the electric brown all over my eyelid and it still came out really cute if you want to check that video out definitely um it's available to watch and then I did a get unready with me video but I actually really like this um Chanel cream eyeshadow stick it's pretty um sometimes with makeup and one reason why I don't wear that much is because I will have a reaction to it no matter how light it may be it's just never light enough and my skin wants it off but with this product it has been very easy to use. It has been long wearing as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, they'll try to get you to buy the primer so that you can have a 12 to 18 hour day with your eyeshadow and not have to re reapply. So if you are a person that is actually still physically going to work or you have to sit in front of screens, and have all these virtual appointments and virtual conferences and meetings or or carry on then you may want to buy the primer I didn't try it out I am considering picking it up so that I can do a follow-up video to this one and tell you guys what I think and test it out all day and show you guys the start look and then show you guys the 18 hour later look I love watching videos like that. Beauty by Gabby did a bunch of those videos. And I will always watch like, okay, let me see what she's going to end up saying. So, yeah. Um, for me, a full day is like if I get six to eight hours of wear. No, really and truly, if I get four to six four to six hours of wear out of a product you've won me over because I typically don't put on eyeshadow unless I'm going to be stepping out for the day and my stepping out is not going to exceed six hours so I don't need 12 to 18 hour coverage. I don't even care about having 12 to 18 hour coverage. Um, I've never been the girl that's going to keep reapplying and applying makeup all day. That's not my thing. It probably might, it might should be my thing. Um, I will keep putting the lip gloss on. I will definitely keep doing that. As long as I'm out and talking to people and eating and all that, I will reapply after dinner, especially if we're getting ready to go somewhere else. Or let's say we're at a comedy show where dinner is a part of the experience and then we're going to leave and talk some more and drive home and that's going to be an hour or go to the next engagement. Um, I'm definitely going to keep applying and reapplying my lip product but it's probably going to be a gloss um nine times out of ten it's probably going to be a gloss guys okay so now i feel like i have sufficiently coated my eyelids with this nudie color and the purpose of this nude color is just to give a shine to the lid. It kind of gives it like that sun-kissed effect or what have you. But it's just to give it a shine. And then, as far as I'm concerned. Now I'm putting on the electric brown and I'm only going to put that at the mascara line. So, let me see. I'm just going to come in with it and I'm just going so I use my pinky as my guide like where am I and I'm literally just tracing right above my mascara line that's it let's 
tracing right above my mascara line, guys. Just to give it some definition. And I don't wear eyeliner. But I just trace and just leave it there. And I'm done. And then here... Let's see. Okay. Okay. So that's that. I just trace my mascara line. And I'm just doing it all in faith, guys. And that's that. I like it because it's easy. I like the size of this. Um, I like the size of the cream eyeshadow because it fits really well in my makeup bag cosmetic bag um if i didn't want like let's say i was wearing a smaller handbag that i don't keep my cosmetic bag in i could just throw this in my purse real easy and not have to think about it um i think these are long wearing and i definitely see that they're going to last me a very long time um because even with me putting them on every single day and the way that the way i do it is Okay, today I did nude on the eyelid and the electric brown on the mascara line, you know, the eyelash line. Okay, so tomorrow then I'll do electric brown on the eyelid and nude on the mascara line. So I, I um, switch it out and with me doing that, this is going to last, I don't know, months and months and months. I don't see myself having to buy any more cream eyeshadow sticks at least in that color um probably till like the top of next year uh, that'll probably get me through january we'll see when i do my review about the primer i'll let you guys know what it's looking like on use like how much more do i think i have to go um because i haven't even you know how you twist it up to push out more product i haven't done that yet and I've used it over and over. So, um, I'm really enjoying it. It feels good. It feels like nothing's on my eye, which is nice. Because sometimes you can use a product and feel it up there. And it's like, hmm. Um, I have absolutely no reaction to it. So, my eyebrows and my eyelids, everything, nothing's itching. Um, nothing. I don't feel any type of reaction. So I've really enjoyed that. I don't know if I'm too close or not, but let me just close my eyes so you guys could just kind of look. But for me, I like it. I like it. Okay, so now let me talk to you guys about, um, before I put this mascara on, because that's the last thing that I need to do for this. Let me talk to you guys about the Chanel cleanse uh eye makeup remover and cleansing oil and the cleansing oil for the face so shanaz explained to me which is my sales associate at the dillard's perimeter store at the chanel counter there in the cosmetics department she explained to me that although you can use this on your eyes you really if you're going to use the face cleansing oil the cleansing oil specific for the face that you really need to be careful not to get it in the eye to use a very small amount and to wipe it right off like be very intentional um i was like you know what let me not even waste my time with that um because i like using products that are safe for the eye because i just get messy in that area and i really allow the product to flow through the eyelashes so even though i have my eyes sealed very well 
it's possible it can get on the eyeliner you know that eyeliner area it can get in and i want to be able to wash it out and move on with my life and not worry um i love the way this smells it has rose oil in it i know i talked to you guys in my skincare routine and collection video about how i don't tend to go for products that have rose oil because it does affect your fertility so that's something you need to consider if you're having issues with getting pregnant it, how many products are you using that contain rose oil if you're a person that uses like those lush bath bombs or any of those huge bath bombs you throw it in your bath water a lot of those contain rose oil which will stop you from getting pregnant so anyway but for my face um i it is a great product for skincare and it really does help with removing um makeup and i feel like the reason why is because so much of our pigments do contain crushed rose petals um and i don't know if you guys knew that but so many of your pigments in your lip colors and in your eye colors um contain crushed rose petals so of course the oil is going to help move that right on out the way but it smells great this is a huge bottle look i've been using it you can't even tell um this is another product that i think i will have clear through the top of 2022 um, it's $37 each. So each one of these were $37. And these are going to be around for a very, very long time. I'm not heavy handed with these because you don't need to be. You literally could put a dime size amount on your finger and just be working that. You don't need, I mean, you could do half of a dime size amount and put that over your entire eye through your eyelashes and then come back through with the cleansing their makeup removing cleansing cloth by kroger just to wipe it out and then get in the shower and just do your whole cream cleanser routine so i love these products i do not have any reactions and i have very sensitive skin and um literally no burning nothing um i didn't have any issues with the eye makeup remover yeah, to me it did a phenomenal job of cleansing um i just had you know my be my eyes volunteer double check me afterwards but when i used when i tell you i first come through with my um refreshing makeup removing cleansing cloth and i show you guys in my um get unready with me video how i do that so if you're wanting to see step for step the process of how i cleanse my face um, after wearing makeup then definitely check that video out and so you know I use the cloth first I put the cleansing oil on I use that same cloth and well of course clean cloths um, and I wipe begin to wipe in circular motions you know intentionally removing everything that I know is there then I come through with my Estee Lauder cream cleanser and i just massage into my face in circular motions around the entire face um and then i come through with a warm cloth um and it's on the cooler side it's like warm to cool um and i just come through wipe everything off my face and then come into the bathtub and from there i'll use like an exfoliant so um i listed like several exfoliation scrubs that i have in my collection so i'll pick any one of those that i'm you know in the mood to because i do switch like every day i switch products that i'm using so i may use the julep and mint you know today the honey and oak tomorrow um i may use a noxima noxima the original noxima the next day i may use the lancome sugar salt scrub i mean sugar scrub um the day after that but I'm going to use some type of exfoliation and then from there I'll get out and begin to hydrate and moisturize my skin. So I definitely am loving these products as an addition to my skincare routine and makeup removing routine. Um, I do feel like this compliments like it's not an extra step i feel like this is a necessary step to cleansing oil i have been seeing um like the glam twins have been talking about cleansing oils for quite a few years and i just hadn't come across one that i was in love with i had tried like tom ford's and just different ones and i was like ah, 
it's fine i don't know but i actually really do like this chanel one um like i said it's it's extremely um effective it smells great and if you have sensitive skin like i have i have had absolutely no reaction to it other than just cleanse just a clean fresh face that's it okay guys so just to give you an idea how much you're investing um these two products were 37 each so that's 74 dollars and then the two eyeshadows were $34 each, which is $68. So $68 plus $74 is what, $142. So for these four products that are definitely going to last you for the next seven, eight months, if you're like me, you could get all the way to Mother's Day again, right? Because those are Mother's Day gifts. So if you're like me, you could go all the way till Mother's Day. I feel like $142 over the next 12 months you know if you want to do a cost per month for them you know 12 into 142 is almost 12 dollars a month for chanel cleansing oil um, for your eyes and face as well as the eyeshadows 12 dollars for your look per day i like it i'm down for that guys so that's my review that's my take on it after seven days i will do another um part on what i think about when i add the primer and i will make sure to do a start to finish so that might be more of a no some kind of it's not going to be a vlog style because i'm definitely going to start the video off showing you guys okay whatever time it is 7 a.m 8 a.m boom i finished my makeup this is what it looks like with the primer and then um i'll come back like six hours later and maybe i'll put in pictures maybe that's what i'll do for that video is put in pictures where you can see you know at point a then at the midpoint and then at 12 hours and if i can 18 hours i don't know i'm not going to promise 18 hours it could be an 18 hour day and i might could do that at least 15 hours but i'll show you guys what it's looking like and then we can make a decision on if we need to buy primer or not if that's valuable to us or not i don't particularly wear makeup for 12 and 18 hours so that's not but i'm doing this for y'all and who knows i don't know what's going to happen later this year i may need 18 hour coverage who knows i might be in a movie or something so yeah okay guys continue to have a phenomenally blessed prosperous increased motivating and positive day remember you are amazingly increased you are amazing energy you have amazing energy and don't change your mind about that no matter what comes on throughout your day whatever your circumstance whatever conversation you are not you're not persuaded you're not confused you're not double-minded you are blessed Okay, guys, see you very soon. And guess what? I think I'm at video number six. So I think I only got like two more videos to do to meet my goal of eight videos and eight uploads today. Speech on. Face. Stop recording video. Button.